We're gonna show you how to make an old fashioned. Step number one in making an old fashioned is admit that you are thirsty and also admit that you are emotionally tied to the drink you are about to make. I'm so thirsty. I'm thirsty as can be. Step number two, place sugar in the bottom of a chilled old-fashioned glass. Now, I actually prefer white granulated sugar for my old-fashioned. I prefer brown sugar. Since I live in the west suburbs of Chicago, it is readily available at a variety of different stores. I'm having trouble opening this child-proof package. It's not working. And brown sugar is actually vegan. Vegan sugar. You just want a light dusting of sugar in the bottom of your old-fashioned glass. Uh, while we make this drink, I am right now being overwhelmed with emotion. I'm very attached to the old-fashioned as a drink. Uh, indulge in nostalgia. Step. Step three, uh, a dash uh, of bitters. What, what kind of bitters? Is These are Angostura bitters readily available at any decent liquor store. They're also available at many grocery stores. You want to add a few dashes so it covers the top of your sugar that has already been placed inside of the old-fashioned glass. Very good. The sugar should look a bit like a blood stain once you've finished squirting the bitters on it. We're going to go ahead and move on to uh, number five, which, uh, step number four, which is add a cocktail cherry. Also referred to in many communities as a maraschino cherry. Grab a spoon. Add a little bit of uh, juice as well. I'm using this in lieu of the water. So I'm adding a squirt of cherry juice and then a full maraschino cherry. Nicely handled, very nicely done. Step number six. Mash or muddle ingredients together. You can use this large spoon that we've been using. You want to smash the cherry, mix up the sugar with the maraschino cherry juice. It'll appear to be embryonic as you're mashing it together. Also, the bitters should produce a very pungent and very noticeable aromatic sensation. That's actually a good point, and it should also become frothy. The mixture should be frothy. It should be frothy and slightly chunky, very textured. Very Don't worry about it. Aromatic. Excuse me. I was actually speaking. Sorry. You want it, uh, you don't want to get hung up on dissolving all the sugar. Step number seven. Add two ice cubes. Go ahead, my friend. These ice cubes are, in fact, vegan. They are, indeed, vegan ice cubes. Two ice cubes per drink. Quite possibly the most important step which is step number eight, is add one jigger of your favorite whiskey. This is not my personal favorite whiskey, but in order to appear on this show, I had to make several compromises. 
But there's, there's, a lot of, there's actually a lot of debate other where you could use a whiskey or a bourbon for this drink. You go uh, traditionally an old fashioned is indeed made with a bourbon whiskey. But uh, other people just grab the most affordable whiskey they can find. That's what, that's what now, as I was saying, I made a lot of compromises to get on this show today. Some of them were practical, some of them were deeply emotional. Turn the, cam turn the camera off. No, we're rolling. We're turn the camera off. We're going to keep rolling. We appreciate the sacrifice you made to be on the show, but you need to keep <laughs> making the drink. We need to get to the <laughs> <laughs> ah! 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 You will feel better. <laughs> Add one jigger. Generous jigger. Of whiskey. One Whoa, jigger only. Of bourbon whiskey. This is Benchmark Old Whoa, Number 8 brand. Two, two jiggers. And as you can see, the pungence, the pungence is right now becoming very overwhelming for the old fashioned. Two and one quarter jiggers. Sorry, I, I jumped ahead to the next step. Uh, step number nine is stir until cold. Let's go, yours. Thank you. Step number ten. Add slice of orange or tangerine. Oh. They're quite delicious and rubbery. What I'm going to do here, I cut a little wedge right here. I'll be squeezing it in there, dunk the thing in there, stir until cold. Step number 11 is raise your glass and clink with a good friend. It's true. You want to raise a glass and clink and establish eye contact for a good toast. Step number 12, down drink. That was sensational. Uh, that was great. Truly memorable. I usually grab the cherry at the bottom that I've muddled and put it through the... Mm. Oh, good. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank you for joining us. This afternoon, or this evening, or this morning, whatever your time may be for you, and we've really enjoyed showing you how to make an old-fashioned.